What is up guys, it's your boy Fixit Daniel, and today we are working on something different. Are you having issues with your Ridge vacuum cleaner? Don't throw it away because I got a fix for you. So let us get into it and I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be doing. So stay tuned. So guys, welcome to the channel. If you have not seen my stuff, please go down and like and subscribe. But today we are going to be talking about the Ridge vacuum cleaner. We have an issue, we have a bad motor. So we are gonna be replacing the motor instead of throwing it away and wasting hundreds of dollars. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it. Okay guys, so this is my Ridge uh, vacuum cleaner. This is the one that I got from my mother-in-law. Um, it uh, was, was working really well. Uh, something was a little issue with the motor, but it seemed like it was working, but I tried to fix it and come to find out that the the uh, some of the cells or the little metal lines in the, in the brain of the motor had uh, gotten caught smoky because it was smelling like it was burning something. So I took it all apart and come to find out that the motor was bad. So I tried fixing it and then putting it back together and it just did not work. So I was literally about to throw this this nice $200 or $100 um, um, vacuum cleaner away until I realized that all I had to do was just buy another motor. So that's exactly what I did. So we have a new motor that we are going to be sticking in this vacuum cleaner. This should fix the problem. Um, there's no point in turning it on because all it's gonna do is just uh, mess it up even more. I don't wanna mess up anything else in there that uh, I don't need to. So um, I just trust what I say that it, it did mess up. It was completely bad, it won't suck anymore. And it looks, it's, it's, the reason why I wanna turn it on is because I feel like it's gonna blow up. So I don't wanna destroy any of the components, other components that I need for this to change this out. So. We went and ordered this. We ordered this off of eBay. Um, not a bad price. I think we got it for uh, maybe uh, 80 to $90. So we're just gonna replace this and put it in and get this thing back and working. So let's get this thing all torn apart. All right, guys, we're gonna start off with this. Getting, getting this off uses a lot of uh, Phillips head screws. So this is really quite easy. Um, and then there's an outer ring there's some outer ring ones like here um, and then there's there's one here that'll undo the motor part so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this off first because this is where the, the fan goes and then we can work our way to getting the motor off so let's get these off it's like one two three four five six so get these off make sure you get a really good uh, Phillips head, something that's a little more sturdy. You got a drill, drill will work, but the only reason I'm not using a drill is because these is like very soft plastic. You start doing torquing and stuff. Maybe taking it off would be fine, but putting it back on, you definitely wanna not over torque these because there's it's not really that much on here. So, and then make sure you got yourself a handy dandy, uh, something to catch the, the screws with because you don't wanna lose them. So, let's you guys. so, yeah, we're going to get these out. All right, so now that we got this all off, now we just simply just wiggle this a little bit. And then this comes off. Set that to the side. This is the fan. This is what spins. We're going to keep that because we gotta un we gotta take that nut off, which I totally forgot. We gotta take that off. So I'll just um, take a adjustable. Oh, that's right. Hold on a second. So uh, this totally forgot about that. This takes a an Allen a little Allen screw. I totally forgot about that. It does. And I actually, oh, I think I actually have the nut. Oh, perfect. All right, so this is a, a 13. And then you just take a, a Allen, Allen tool. I'm not for sure what size it is. So I have an open end kind of wrench. So you just put that right in there. Then you just get it in the hole. And then 
you hold one in, you hold it so, like so. Okay, let's go the other way. Mm, okay, it's only pretty good actually. Man, this thing's on here. There we go. All right. Put that to the side. Take this nut off. Don't lose this nut. And let's take the fan off with it. We need we need to keep this. We need to keep this. Um, the kit comes with a whole with another nut and bolt, but we definitely need. It doesn't come with this, so we put this to the side. And keep the nut just in case we'll probably reuse the new nut this comes with its own spacer here's another spacer that goes on the bottom we need to keep that as well and then this holds the motor down inside that's okay but what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to leave that uh actually yeah so we'll leave that in there just to hold the motor down and then we'll take these off and this will extract the actually we'll just go and take them out why not why not go for broke so take our phillips head where did i put my phillips head where are we at it uh hold on a sec put my phillips head down and i lost it here we go so we're going to take this out. You could leave it in or take it out either way. That's why I'm like kind of going back and forth because it doesn't really matter because um, this is just holding the motor down. You still need to take these off in order to get the complete motor and everything out. We'll just get these loose a little bit and then we'll take the rest of them out. Alrighty, so now we're gonna take all of these. There's a little, these little. There's some, there's some uh, Phillips heads that goes all the way around. We're gonna take those all out. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Just try to get you in a better spot so you can see what I'm doing. All right, and that's good. So now we're gonna take all these out. All right, guys, so now that we got everything off, except for these last two, now we're just going to get this off. See how easy it comes up? So it's pretty simple. Don't want to pull too hard because we got the wires. So I'm going to hold this. I'm going to take off these remaining bolts right here. So this is just what's holding the motor onto this plastic piece. That's why I didn't. That's why I said it didn't matter if you took it off now or later. So um, take these off. Should just, just lift this up. Boom, like that. And here's the motor. Here's everything that we need right here. It's a pretty, pretty bad motor. Um, it's all, uh, it's got burnt. Um, inside here are the little coil, the little like magnet wire coils is burnt. Some of the coils are burnt in there. So yeah, it's just simple to replace. So we will grab our tool, pull these plastic pieces off. Try not to let this fall too much so it don't break. Uh, let me get my pygmy tool. So we're gonna make sure we keep this kind of the same. So I'm just gonna just pull this off like that. That goes on that side. And we're gonna pull this black one off. Without, without breaking it. Boom, there we go. So leave that sitting there for a sec. I'm gonna put this down so I know which way it went. 
I don't want to lose lose my myself. Which I kind of, kind of can't because it already has the black wire. So obviously the white's going to go here and the black's going to go there. So I do just unpull this off and then put it on. But I'll leave this as my indicator so I know that that goes like that. Very quite simple. So, um, since this is the bad motor, I could take it off and show it to you guys. Let's do so. Let's just do a little extra experiment. All right, so I'm gonna take this off and show it to you guys. So it's just just two screws, two screws here and here, and then holds this all together, and then goes right down in there. Voila. these two off here because we can't reuse this motor so might as well go ahead and just show it to you so you can see what I'm talking about just got these two little these two long screws this last one's coming Couple of threads more. There we go. So now we just do that, and then we just pull these out, and that there. So I don't know if you can see that, but that black part that's burnt. It even smells like burnt. So. Looks pretty good in here. Some of the coils like they could be burnt too in there, but it's more of the, oh, there's a perfect spot right there. You see where it's burnt? That's completely burnt, those coils there, up top, and then definitely down here. So we're gonna replace it. All right. Let me go get something real quick and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now we are going to we're gonna plug this back in. So um, we're going to actually put this motor piece. So if I can get this cable. <laughs> this cable does not want to cooperate. So we're gonna get this motor piece up in the hole. Actually, I think we're gonna, actually we're gonna do it the other way. We are going to reverse that. We're going to go ahead and wire this all up and get everything back set in. So that way it'll be way more easier. So I'm just gonna pull, I'm just gonna pull this thing out before I forget. I'm gonna put it back in here, clip it on this side. Then we're gonna take the white one And then we'll clip it in on this side. So that way the motor and everything's all in there. We don't have to worry about figuring it out. Now we can go ahead and put these two together now. So just get this in here. It kind of sits in its own little cradle here. side yeah. looks a lot easier pulling it out there we go So 
now, bolt it back up. Get this all nice and in there. Hold up, we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're back. So we got it in there. Got the motor in. Motor's all nice and in. Now we're gonna put this back on top. Um, so that way we can get this all squared away. So, so we're gonna put these louver pieces back in so we can get it all set. So there's a little louver holder here. Lift this up. there and we'll just slowly just set it right down on top get everything all nice and fitted up Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. So, we got everything in here, like so. Now we just need to put all the screws back. So, gonna put all these screws on the outside back. Start it. Make they hold all nice and good. Said I wasn't gonna use a M drill, but I'm gonna use a drill. I got on the lowest setting so that way it won't it won't break him. So, so it's so super simple. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't gonna use a drill, but this goes way more faster. Figure why not? You got tools, power tools, why not use them? 
All right, so now we got that in there. Now we're gonna put the motor, put all that back on there. So, we'll use the new stuff. So, put back in the guide holder, the fan, little nut, there's a little spacer, and then the nut. And we will get our uh, our sockets set. Here we go. Flip it the other way this time. And then stick this in the hole. Let's get this nice and tight first. That might be a little better. There we go. All right, that's in there, nice and good. And now, last final piece. Put this little tunnel cover back on. So put this tunnel cover back on. I'm doing it the right way. Yep, just like that. And then we put the remaining bolts down, turn this thing on, and it should work just fine. So let's get these last little bits. Please, guys, go um, go like and subscribe if you guys like this kind of stuff. Um, definitely, it definitely helps me out with the algorithm and. Uh, Get you guys more content and stuff. I know this is a little off, um, but uh, thought, I thought um, this was a cool thing to have. This saves a lot of money instead of just throwing it away. Just um, just go online and see if there's a motor for it. Excuse my kids, they're playing outside in the backyard, so they're, they're right outside the door. Alright, and there we go. We are all good. Put this little piece on the end. And then we should flip this over. I think my piece is in there. Put this fan, put this uh, filter back on it. Put this right back on. Let's turn it on and see if it works. Let me plug this thing in real quick. All right, moment of truth. <laughs> awesome. Awesome fix, guys. Completely done. Ready to be working again, and now I have a nice, good wet and dry vac. This is actually a wet and dry vac, so this, this is really one of the top of the line ones. So I definitely didn't want to just get rid of this. I really wanted to fix this, and it works perfectly. It sucks really good, holding I and mean, it's not making the, the weird, crazy noise that it was, and doesn't smell like uh, doesn't smell like instant uh, electrical burn. So this is a good win. So. Let us get this all pieced up, get it all put away, and we'll be done. All right, guys, so we are done. The vacuum cleaner is great. It's working really good. Now I can use it to really, really clean up the vehicles. And because like it's a wet and dry vac, so I can always use it to clean up, maybe do some carpet cleaning or pick up spills, whatever. That's a really good, expensive um, vacuum cleaner. I only fixed it for like 80, 90 bucks just by replacing the motor. That was the only problem. So, Instead of throwing away a $100, $200 lawn, uh, vacuum cleaner, why not fix it? And now it runs great. So just thought I might show you guys something that you could cheaply fix if you feel like it's just broke. Just go get a motor, go on eBay. They have plenty of motors on there for them. Just type in the Ridge vacuum cleaner motor, boom, gives you listings. So check it out. You can get it from Amazon, eBay, wherever they have it. 
so don't throw away a perfectly good vacuum cleaner because of the motor. But guys, that's it. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys sticking around. I know I don't have the Cadillac STS right now. I'm in the works of looking for another vehicle, so please stay tuned for that. I am definitely in the works for another vehicle. Um, so um, it might take a little while longer. I'm waiting on the finishing with the insurance, you know, getting the check and then getting the car and then everything. So I'm doing my search looking and um, I found some good potential vehicles that I hope you guys will like. Um, so just stay tuned for that. Um, plus you also can go on Copart, look up Hampton, Virginia, go to the Copart Hampton, Virginia, pull up Cadillac and see the listing. My car is there, still there. No one's bid it on it yet. You guys can get it if you want it. I know a lot of people on there were asking for parts off my car. So you guys want it, go on there and check it out and you know, go get it for yourself. Um, but it's a really good car. It just needs to have that front end fix and you got a good running car. But um, we will find something for you guys and for me to drive as well. So um, just stay tuned, be patient. But guys, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this stuff, go down in the comments and hit me up. Um, and um, let me know if you like this kind of thing. I know it's kind of short, kind of eh, small, but I just thought it would be cool to show you guys something that I thought was a good fix. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Go follow me on Instagram at Fix It Daniel. It's right there. I really appreciate it. Or you can just follow me on, on YouTube and like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. You have a good and blessed day, and I'll see you on the next fix. Peace.